So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your DJI Focus motor to your Sony camera and operate it from your gimbal. So right here, I'm using the FX30 and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set this up. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use this quick plate right here. So normally when we're not using the focus rods, we use another quick plate. But this quick plate is actually included in the DJI RS4 Pro combo. So you're going to use this quick plate right here to attach your camera. It doesn't have a screw inside, so I'm going to unscrew the screw from the regular quick plate and have it attached. So one second, let's take this off. All right, and insert this one inside. All right, so now that I got this inside, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and attach this to our camera. All right, now that we have our quick plate attached to our camera, we already have our um, rod inserted. Uh, let me just show you the additional pieces I'll be using bit by bit. So we're going to be using um, these cables right here. They are USB-C cables, C to C. One of these cables run from the focus motor to the gimbal for power. And this right here is the focus motor that will be mounted directly on to the um, 15 millimeter focus rod. All right, so all you got to do is attach this right here attach this right here so i forgot to include this important piece this is the piece that actually goes onto the lens now if your lens um is a cinema lens it might not need to use this but this is what this is what gives the traction so on a regular um, photography lens like this it doesn't have much um space in the um the focus rings so this right here goes on top of it so that you can have um, enough room for the focus rod to move so you're gonna basically have it facing outwards so that the focus rod can pretty much use it, one second, use it to basically like wheel in your focus. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead. And you wanna have that put as tightly as possible. So now we have that on. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the focus rod right now. All right, try to keep it in line. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so I have it in line. All right, so also I'm just going to move it a little bit just to see that um, it's perfectly in line. You want to make sure that it's not like lopsided. You want to have, you want, it wants to have like freedom to move because yeah, basically it's going to move like that. All right, so it's a little lopsided right here. So you want to have it like, basically you want to have it in a way where it's like you can move it without it necessarily being slanted. Hoping you guys can see. So it's a little slanted right now. So I'm just pushing it back and forward. And yeah, so we have that piece set up right there. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is just have my camera on my gimbal. So we're gonna place the camera on our gimbal and try to have no wires obstructing it. All right, so we're gonna attach our USB cable. So right here, we're gonna insert this USB cable into the top side right here. So insert it to the top side. And then on the gimbal itself, let me turn the gimbal to you guys so you can see. You're going to put it on the top part for the gimbal as well. So that is how your focus motor is going to get power. Once the gimbal is powered on, you'll basically see that on your focus motor. The next thing I'm going to do, which is totally optional, I'm going to connect my Raven Eye so I can use my phone as a monitor. All right, and I just slide this in and this is totally optional this has nothing to do with the um focus motor i just prefer to use the bigger screen um since i'm already doing the setup and this is the more intense setup that i plan to use um let me just balance the camera which i'm not going to go into depth about balancing because i have many videos on that so if you guys want to see a video on balancing just go on the channel and check that out so now that we have our camera balanced and our cords connected just go ahead and turn it on so with everything turned on now let me just show you guys to the side because the um gimbal is currently being powered on you're going to see a red dot right here on your focus motor all right so now we have everything connected we can see perfectly from our raven eye we have our focus motor powered and yeah everything is looking absolutely perfect how you use the focus wheel now and it's the reason why i attached the raven eye because it's easier to see outside of the phone monitor than it's gonna be um, using the monitor on the camera. There might be a slight delay, but it's nothing crazy. So 
automatically the dial is set to um, control focus. You can also have the option to control focus. You can control zoom. I don't know what the I stands for. I'm gonna say I probably should, but I really don't know. But I know you can either use the dials for either focus or zoom. So I have mine on my focus ring. This is a prime lens, so I can easily change focus. And you have the option to change the dial function as well. Um, I'm not gonna be changing mine because it's attached to the focus ring, but it can control ISO, can control aperture and shutter. I do believe you have to attach it to the camera for it to do that. Um, you can also slow down the dial speed. So I'm gonna have my dial speed on 20. So when you lower your dial speed, what that does is, and how you lower your dial speed, let me just go through it slowly. You swipe up on the screen, click on dial settings, and you go to dial speed, and you change it. So when you slower the dial speed, it's gonna take a while for it to move. This is gonna give you more smooth zooms or more smooth um, focus pulling. So that way, you don't necessarily have to you know, make a big move. It's gonna be a lot more cinematic. I can see perfectly because I have um, a monitor mounted up here. I can go in like so. Um, once you attach the focus motor, you should actually calibrate it. So let's see. So how you calibrate the focus motor, I hope, hope you guys can see. On the gimbal itself, let's put this boy down. So how you calibrate it is that you swipe. Let's go back for a sec. So you swipe down from the top. You click on the bottom left icon and you click on focus motor calibration. Now something you have to ensure that you do is you have to ensure that the focus um, motor is properly attached to the um, focus ring right here. If it's not, you won't be able to calibrate it properly. So you just click on that, press confirm, and then make sure nothing is being obstructed. So per like even right now, mine is not connected properly, so I'm getting an error. So I have to make sure that it is perfectly aligned. All right, so I was having a hard time calibrating it automatically, so I'm gonna do it myself. So I'm gonna set the first start point here, then I'm gonna scroll and keep scrolling, and keep scrolling, and keep scrolling until I get to the end, and set end point right here. So if you're having a hard time at me automatically setting your starting and end point, um, the focus ring kept you know getting stuck, then you can just set it manually. So that way now, you know, it will stop on its own and you don't have to get like, you know, I wonder if I should actually cut. Well, I probably don't want to cut it because I might have bigger lenses. But um, is there a way to have this stuck? I'm gonna figure that part out. This is how you set up your focus ring with your DJI RS4 Pro. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoy this video, the YouTube algorithm says you love this video right here.